This is the story of one of America's most important crops, the soybean. In the previous segments, we've introduced you to the farmers, shown you how they take care of the land, and explained how technology is making a difference in bringing healthier, higher yielding crops. The end goal is to bring food to the table. Soybean oil is found in cooking oils, margarine, salad dressings, and more. An extract from the oil is found in chocolate and cocoa butter, and we're just getting started. In kitchens around the world, food made with soy is being prepared as we speak. It may surprise you, because soy turns up in unexpected places. Sure, it provides us with tofu and soy milk, but it's also in the oils used for cooking, the flour used in baking, the nuts that may top that dessert. Soybean oil, in fact, accounts for about half of the edible oil that is produced worldwide, perhaps because it can do a lot. Soybean oil is very versatile and is widely used in food manufacturing and in, within the food service industries. The reason for that is soybean oil doesn't have an inherent flavor, therefore it, it doesn't detract from other ingredients in food products. Excellent use in food uh, marinades, in, in salad dressings, in baked goods, crackers, and in, within the deep fat fryer. And as used, it's pretty ubiquitous throughout our food supply. Just think about cheesecake carrot cake, hummus, trail mix. Yes, these menu items can all be made with soy. It starts back at the farm, with the farmer choosing the right seed, planting it under the right conditions, and nurturing it into a healthy crop. We do uh, spend a huge amount of time working on enhancing, particularly the oil for human consumption, as well as some degree to the meal, but uh, that is one of the things that we have a very huge amount of work going on as far as uh, human oil consumption, the trans fat issue and all that. We're trying to uh, get a better oil for the consumers and um, obviously that doesn't hurt the meal side either for the livestock. We want to produce enough food for as many folks on earth as we can, so we do take that to heart. We want to be able to provide a reasonably priced and a wholesome, healthy product to the, to the world consuming public. So that is one of the things that we do take very seriously. Soybeans are not only a prime ingredient in some of your favorite foods, they come with benefits. The clinical trials involving soy foods and different components found in soybeans clearly indicate that soy foods are nutritious and may provide a number of health benefits and certainly are safe for everybody to consume. In fact, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has authorized the use of a health claim about the association between soy protein and reduced risk of coronary heart disease, an important designation when deciding to add soy products to your diet. Research shows that 80% of consumers perceive soy as healthy. In fact, soybean oil is ranked as one of the top three healthiest oils in the consumer mind as far as what's in their pantry. What's interesting about that is Consumers, while consumers perceive soybean oil as healthy, most of what they see on the grocery store shelf is labeled as vegetable oil and not soybean oil. The American Health Association recommends adding 25 grams of soy protein per day to a diet low in saturated fat and cholesterol in order to reduce the risk of heart disease equal to two to three servings of soy. One portion of soy foods can be a cup of soy milk, a half a cup of tofu, an ounce of soy nuts, a half a cup of edamame, which are the green soybeans. So really one serving is not that much. It's very easy to incorporate a couple of servings of soy into the diet. And over the past 10 to 15 years, there's, the industry has really done an excellent job at improving the taste of soy foods. So they're much more easy to incorporate into the diet. So there's really no excuse. Everybody can find a few soy foods that they enjoy, and I recommend consuming a couple of servings per day. Jim Stillman is one soybean farmer who puts the words farm to table into action. He and his wife, Jan, have incorporated the use of soy into their regular diet, and he enjoys experimenting with recipes. I do a lot of baking, and I love I'd already been, you know, making cheesecakes and cookies and brownies and, and all that. And so I thought, well, you can incorporate soy into it and, you know, using the soy flour, the soy oil, the tofu, 
So I just, you know, started substituting ingredients in and, and continue on and always experiment. The results from this home kitchen include a delicious cheesecake, carrot cake, fruit dip, trail mix, and zucchini brownies, all made with ingredients such as tofu, soy flour, toasted soybeans, or soy milk. Soybean oil has a lot of benefits. It doesn't alter the flavor of your food, it has a great health profile, and it's widely available. And the soybeans that eventually turn up in kitchens are used in everything from home cooking to fine dining. Chances are the menu items you are choosing when you eat out have been touched by soy somewhere along the way. For the farmer, it's the reason they get up in the morning and climb into the tractor. Yeah, that's, a, that's a great thing to do. I mean, you can do a lot of things, but you know, to feed people, um, it's just, it's a great feeling. You know, that's one of the things I pride myself in is giving such a great quality crop. And there are tools out there that we use to get that crop. I feel very good about what we're doing to give people a quality food because we're doing it precisely. We're not overdoing it, we're not underdoing it, and that's what's important. And that's call for celebration. It's a long road to the farm, and while the small towns may make you feel like you're going back in time, today's farmers are actually looking into the future. It's something they do daily, not only to predict whether or not it will rain, but also to continue learning how to protect the integrity of the seed, employ conservation practices, and preserve the land for the next generation. As they look to the future, the goal is simply to meet the demand. That's the importance of the four bean pod. That's the importance of the work these farmers and others like them do on a daily basis. These are the people. This is the land. And these are the technologies that are used to grow soybeans. The goal is to produce a quality and safe food product to meet the demand for food while still replenishing the earth. It's sort of like finding a four bean pod. Hard to do, but satisfying. And now you know what it means to the future of food.